Okay, so this is super, super easy. I'm going to take you through these simple steps on how to get a virtual screen in with me. Really, really easy. I promise you. Step by step, we're going to take you through this. What you see here is my desktop on my computer and on the right hand side here, this is my phone. So I'm going to go through how you're going to find the app, take the photos or the videos and send them privately to me so that I can do your data analysis and then support you. If you're not a research subject, I will support you with your uh, exercise, corrective exercises. If you are a research subject um, for my doctoral studies, then I won't be giving you exercises. I'll just be monitoring how your body responds over the months that I collect those monthly surveys from you. So let's get started. In your phone, you'll need to access your app store. So click on the app store and then in the search bar at the top here, you'll need to put remote screen connect. This is in Google Play and it's in Apple iStore. So it works for Androids and um, Apple phones. This is the icon you're looking for and then click this button here and this will allow you to download the app. The app is free for you to download. There is no cost to you whatsoever for this service. Click open when it's downloaded and then this is the page that you will end up on. You are now going to enter all of your details. So you will click on add person. You will then put in all your details over here. Now as a research participant with this, you will not see your reports. That is something that I will keep hold of until the end of your um, data collection as part of this study. Um, when, I when we complete the study, you will then get all your reports if you decide to do this. Um, and then we can discuss the outcomes of those reports and your data information that you were giving me during the months that I was monitoring you. As a patient, you'll get your exercise program sent straight to you with an online support system and videos. When you finish filling in this information here, click take photos and videos and you'll come to this page. Photos that I will need is are going to be capture the front image of you, capture the right side of you. Now when you click on these, there's very specific setups for the photos and it will um, it, it, the instructions will be within the app. Please make sure if you have long hair, you have it tied back. And with these photos, you'll need to be wearing semi-tight fitting clothes. So I need to be able to see your knees and I need to be able to see the shape of your torso, of your body. Um, and preferably I need to be able to see your shoulders and your ears. So hair tied up and semi-tight fitting clothing um, so that I can see all those areas on your body. And shorts are preferable and barefoot. The photos, like I say, will give you instructions when you click on the images. So if you were to do this now, you click on this image and it would give you the instructions as you take the photos. It needs to be the front of the body, not the back. And this needs to, I need to be able to see the right hand side of your body, not the left. And then I would like a photo of you in a seated position. So that could be seated in a vehicle, seated at your desk. Where do you mostly spend your time in a seated position? That's the photo I need here. So whether that's driving or sitting at a desk or relaxing in the evening watching television that or reading a book, that's the photo I need in here. Capturing video, I don't need that from research subjects, but I may need that from patients. If I've asked you to do that, please complete that as well. When you've completed these photos, it will then ask you for this. Um, when you complete those photos, you'll just get put through straight away to this page here. You'll be asked to enter your provider code. That's the code that I have given you. And it's a series of capitals and small case uh, letters with um, some symbols and some numbers in it. You'll pop that in here and click OK. 
it's a private and protected server that sends me those photos and that's why you need this ID to keep your photos all protected. So do make sure you pop that information in properly and send that across to me. I will then analyse your photos, I'll either file them if you're a research subject or I shall email your reports to you if you're a patient alongside with some corrective exercise programmes. And that is it. Any questions, just email me.